Hi guys, my name is Holly. I'm an artist and I am currently working on a set of lino prints for a gallery show that I have scheduled for March in 2024. I have plenty of time to get all the prints that I want done. It's just gonna be a series of uh, between 10 and 15 different prints. I, I will be making maybe eight to 10 prints out of each image and then hand coloring each one of those uh, for the show. So this is my process and what I've been doing over the past month. I wanted to start with showing you guys what I've been doing in my sketchbook. I am using this uh, mixed media sketchbook by Etcher to uh, study different color palettes. At first I was um, doing a little test of other people's palettes, like this is the Holbein uh, Gouache Iridori Spring set test that I did. This was uh, Jasper Stardust. I tested their palette out and tried to find the strengths and weaknesses of it. This one was trying my own palette. So I made, uh, I just grabbed a couple of my favorite colors and I made some uh, trilogies of them and uh, tested to see what it would look like uh, in images. And then from there, I was just uh, seeing how different mediums uh, looked on top of each other. So I have, I was using inks. I have my golden acrylics, uh, testing things on top of darker colors. Uh, doing drawings on top of stuff and all sorts of just different little tests that I was checking out. Uh, this was my poems about you watercolors. This is not a, a palette, a curated palette. I, I like the colors, but it won't work for what I'm doing now. And then again, here's testing different types of colored pencils over inks and doing my neo colors and all that stuff. And then I made a video of this one too. This was when I got some new colors and I was trying those out. And this was my first print that I did. And I went ahead and went in with a couple different mediums and I colored it. Oh, at the beginning I wanted to do swatches. I never did swatches of my favorite Castell colored pencils, polychromos. So uh, this was my way of doing the swatches. I made little images out of each one, but then also wrote down the names and the, the numbers in case I, I wanted to get more of those pencils when they ran out and stuff. I love bugs, so you'll see bugs. So I wanted to show you where I got the references for my uh, first two Leno prints that I made. Uh, this, this book is like um, where I keep some of my old work from. This was a drawing that I did a long time ago and I made the Marching Frogs uh, Leno cut print from that. And then, uh, let's see. Oopsies. And then here's where I got the Dream Frogs reference from. And I didn't want to put all this detail in the, to the background because I really wanted to keep it simple and mostly keep the first couple little prints just playing with color and all the different uh, textures and combinations that I could do. So while cutting my linoleums with my gouges, I realized that my the gouges that I had from art school, uh, they weren't very efficient at cutting. Uh, there was only two that I could actually use and uh, they made very small gouges. So for big areas, they weren't very efficient. So I decided to go to Woodcraft and uh, uh, invest in a new nice set of gouges that had a little bit bigger of a, a width to cut away with. Yeah, I don't know if that makes sense. That, the... So when getting back into printmaking, I watched YouTuber Al Ronan, who has some very beautiful lino cut prints, to see what tools she suggested, and these were the ones that she suggested. So I ended up buying the carving set C and also the sharpener kit. 
and the new gouges really did make a difference. I, I tried them all out and in the set of six gouges, there's uh, some tools that were finer than the ones that I was using from my previous set from college and it, there was some much bigger ones and uh, it just saved me a lot of time and tears actually because uh, I wasn't slipping uh, while trying to use um, tools that were just a, a little bit damaged. And when you slip out while using a gouge in a linoleum, you can completely ruin your your image by uh, making a cut where it's not supposed to be. And so, yeah, I, the the tools were a bit pricey, but definitely worth it as far as uh, time and um, effort goes. So after I made my prints of the marching band and the dream frogs, I, I, I did eight of each to start with. I, I'm making these uh, open series so I can make more later if I want. I, I did eight of each and it, every single print I am coloring a little bit different so they're, they actually end up being originals and I... Uh, to start with, I made them pretty, pretty different. They're the colors, the tools that I used. I mean, the, the mediums that I used and whatnot. So yeah, to keep it interesting for myself and also for, you know, whoever's interested in buying it, they know that they're getting something that's completely different than the other ones out there. That's why I didn't mind making a, a series of uh, artworks that uh, all had the same image because they're different anyway. So then after I finished uh, coloring my prints, uh, the last thing I had to do was to sign and number the ones that I got done. I started signing them with a mechanical pencil and it broke several times on me while trying to write. So uh, I ended up grabbing my brand new uh, black wing pencil and using that for the signing. I know it's not the, maybe not the right purpose for a black wing pencil, but it does write very nice. So. Thank you. 